Hello everyone, welcome. So this is Fahad again and in this lecture I shall be explaining some exercise which is given on your physics book. So in unit 2 in section A under the general physics the speed velocity and acceleration chapter there is an exercise which is given something like that and also some questions like that. So those who already read the chapter and understood the concept regarding speed, velocity and accelerations, we uh, will be able to solve this type of questions. So first question is, is given, I wrote it in a very simple way that uh, the average speed of a car is 35 km per hour. This is average speed is given. How far can it travel in 45 minutes? So if average speed is given of a car, then we need to measure that how much it will travel in, in 45 minutes. So there is a, some sort of unit changes we know that we need to do in case of a velocity and speed is meter per second. But though it's given in kilometer per hour, we need to convert it into per second so that we can find out how the distance would be measured. And the second word, the question is given like a car accelerates uniformly. So there is a word uniform velocity or uniformly, I shall explain it later on, so uniformly from 5 meter per second to 13 meter per second. So we can see the directions, I mean the velocity is changing. So it gets higher, I mean from 5 meter per second to 13 meter per second. So it means that the initial velocity was less so that final velocity is getting higher so in four second what is the acceleration so this is a question and again in the third type of questions is given a cyclist runway from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. so the question is uh, in your books is written that what is the average speed of this cyclist from A to B and B to C and to the whole journey so if we need to know what is the average speed of this cyclist from A to B, B to C and also we need to understand how to measure the average speed. So let's start with this first one. A car is traveling 35 km per hour in average speed. What is the distance it will cover in 45 minutes? So we can write this 35 km in one hour if it is the average speed what will be the distance covered in 45 minutes so if we say that this one hour is actually we know it's 60 minutes in an hour so 60 minutes and in 60 seconds it will travel so if we write that in 45 minutes so we need to know that it travels 35 km in 16 minutes. So what will be traveled by something in 45 minutes? So it's very simple. So we need to multiply 35 into 45 by 60. So the unit would be kilometer in minute. So if I divide 4, 3, so we'll find like 35 into 3 is 105. So 105, uh, 105 divided by 4 is 26.25. So we can write that 26.25 kilometer would be the distance covered in 45 minutes. So this is pretty simple. We didn't need to convert it into second as we know that we usually calculate our speed and velocity unit in meter per second. But here we needed to know that what would be the distance we'll cover by its in 45 minute. So here 35 kilometer per hour we just convert it into minute and then multiply by 45. So I'll find that how much distance it will travel, it will cover in 45 minutes. So the answer is 26.25 km. So this is number one. And number two is 
very simple. I mean, a, a moving object, a moving object, it's uniformly, it's increasing the velocity, the final velocity is 13 meter per second, and the initial velocity is 5 meter per second, and the time taken is 4 second. As we know, that in case of accelerations, we needed to find out the rules is acceleration, what? The change of velocity over time taken. So as we know, this del V is actually the final velocity divided by I mean, minus uniform velocity or initial velocity and by T. So it would be 13 minus 5 over 4 second. So 13 minus 5 is 8. 8 over 4 is actually 2. And if the unit should be meter per second per second because the velocity the unit of velocity is meter per second as given meter per second so I divided meter per second by second so again meter per second per second so it should be meter per second square so here it's meter per second square so we got the second one so to understand the question clearly and to answer it properly we need to calculate understanding the unit given so wherever when your question paper you see the questions given in different unit in a way we need to know that we should complete this through SI or I mean system international unit so meter per second and if you see the last questions a cyclist wrote from morning 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. and to find the average speed in kilometer per hour. So what would be the thing? In this lecture, I shall be mentioning one thing that if a moving object is moving without changing the velocity, if there is something moving without changing its velocity, then acceleration would be zero. How? As we know that acceleration means the change of velocity over time and if an object is moving uniformly, that means the initial velocity and the final velocity are same, then the result would be 0 over t. So hence, if the changes is not happening in case of velocity, if any change doesn't occur in case of changing the velocity of any moving substance, then the acceleration should be 0. And this is the cyclist route. What's going on here? We need to find out the average speed of the cyclist. And the route is given like that. So this is very important. And we know in case of scalar and vector quantity, there are two things. This is distance and displacement. So what are those? I think you know it already. The distance is a scalar quantity which is only the magnitude, no directions. In case of displacement, there is magnitude and also the directions. Here, a cyclist is moving from A to B. What's given? We, we can see that it's a very, I mean, it's not linear distance. So it's moving like a, a zigzag way. So from A to B, it means the cycle started at 6 a.m. morning and he comes at V in 9 a.m. So it means he took 3 hours to over 10 km road. So from A to B, if we can say that it's moving from A to B, it travels 10 km in 3 hours. Because it started at 6 a.m. morning and ended up 9 a.m. So it's all about 3 hours. So in 3 hours, it moves 10 km. So we can write that this is actually 3.33 km per hour. 10 over 3 km per hour. So 3.33 km per hour. If you want to see that from B to C, what is the distance? This is 9 a.m. and this is 12 noon. So from 9 a.m. to 12 noon, it's again 3, three hours. So in this 3 hours, it traveled 8 kilometers. 
So from B to C, we can say the distance traveled by the cyclist is 8 km in 3 hour. So this is 8 by 3. So 8 by 3 is actually, I don't know, it should be like 2 point something over. I need to take in a calculator. Let me check. So this is 8 over 3 is 2.67 km per hour. So 2.67 six seven kilometer per hour so this is the average speed of the cyclist from b to c but if we want to know the whole route if we want to know the average speed of the cyclist in the whole time then we need to know what we need to know in understanding the average speed of any moving uh, things like the like average speed is equal to the total the total distance over the total time taken so to understand the average speed of the whole route we need to count the total distance over total time so what is the total distance covered by the cyclist here is 10 kilometer 8 kilometer 7 kilometer and 12 kilometer so altogether we know 10 plus uh, 8 plus 7 plus 12 and what is the time he started at 6 a.m. and when he finished 6 p.m. so morning 6 a.m. to morning 6 p.m. it's all about 12 hours time so in 12 hours time he traveled this amount of kilometer road so it will be like okay 12 and 8 20 30 37 over 12 so all together 37 kilometer in 12 hour time so if you want to know the average speed we need to know that 37 over 12 is 3.08 so if he travel 3.08 km per hour is the average speed of the cyclist throughout the time. And again, if it was asked that what is the time travel by 5 seconds average, we need to know is given 3.08 km per hour. So we need to convert it into meter per second. So this is a very cheap thing like if you want to convert kilometer per hour to meter per second instantly then you just need to divide it by 3.6. So just divide by 3.6. How come? So it's 3.08 if I divide it okay so 3.08 divided by 3.6. 0. Point, so it is actually 0. 0.8555 meter per second this is the average speed of the cyclist throughout the road in average speed is meter per second if I travel if I say that what is the average speed and how much distance the cyclist traveled in one minute then what I needed to know that this is given in 0.85 meter per second so I can to know that in one second in one second he traveled 0.85 meter so 0.85 meter if you want to know that how much distance it travel by 60 second I mean in one minute then I need to multiply this 0.85 into 60 that is 50 1.3 meter so if 51.3 meter in one minute so to understand the speed and velocity to find it out the distance and the displacement we need to know the magnitude and the directions but most importantly if we needed to know that what is the displacement of the cyclist from A to C that we needed to draw a linear line from here to here and it might be like um, 5, 15 kilometer so here 
the, the, the root cyclist followed from here A to B to C it was actually 10 and 8 km which is 18 km. So the 18 km is the distance traveled by the cyclist but if the question was asked the displacement of the cyclist then we need to know that from A to B there should be a linear distance from here and which is actually a 15 km and this is the displacement which is a vector quantity because it has a magnitude and also the directions. So I hope you can understand my class and of course doing exercise in a good way that will give a good vibration to the physics and of course do let me know what you understand and what is your recommendations and I shall make my classes based on your recommendation and of course um, study is a very good thing if you understand what you already have. So see you on the next class. Take care, uh, study well, stay well.